Hello, welcome. This is Business Now, reaching you live from iBrand TV News Studios here in Lagos. Coming up, Senate approves President Muhammad Buhari's loan request for country's infrastructure. Senate urges Central Bank of Nigeria to extend withdrawal deadline to June 30. National Assembly passes 2023 budget, raises proposed spending by 1.32 trillion era. And finally, Kenya's foreign exchange reserves rise to 7.53 billion US dollars after IMF's intervention. Thank you for joining us. I am Frank Omalape. We'll begin from the Federal Capital Territory, where the Senate has approved President Muhammad Buhari's request for an $819.54 billion Naira domestic loan aimed at fixing the country's infrastructure. The President said the new loan will cater for the capital expenditure component of the 2022 budget. The total sum of $819 billion Nara is expected to cover the following ministries, which include Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, 69.2 uh, billion, Federal Minister of Works and Housing, 704.8, Federal Capital Territory, 30, and Federal Ministry of Water Resources, 15.5 billion Nara, respectively. Lawan said the extension of the implementation period of the 2022 budget to March 31, 2023 will provide the required time for implementation of the 819.5 billion Naira 2022 supplementary budget raised by the President. And in the meantime, the Senate has urged the Central Bank of Nigeria to extend the deadline for withdrawal of old Naira notes from circulation from January 31, 2023 to June 30. The CBN had last month announced that the 1,500 and 200 Naira notes will be redesigned in new colors and it proposed withdrawal of the old notes from circulation from December 15, 2022 to January 31, 2023 when they will no longer be legal tender. Secret a motion sponsored by Senator Alin Dume, Senator, the Senate urged the APS Bank to extend the deadline to June 30 next year. Ndume, in his lead debate on the motion, noted that the timing of the Naira redesign policy was wrong. And now the House of Representatives has asked the federal government through the Nigerian Petroleum Development Company to suspend the planned auction of oil mining license uh, 11 for $250 million when it has been bid for uh, $1 billion US dollars. At the plenary on Wednesday, the House particularly urged the federal government, uh, particularly the NPDC, to suspend the planned auction and sale of the OML uh, 11 asset until relevant issues are resolved. The House also mandated its committee on petroleum to urgently investigate the plan auction, among other matters, and report back within four weeks. And in the meantime, the National Assembly on Wednesday increased the 2023 budget proposal from 20.51 trillion era to 21.82 trillion era and passed it. President Mohamed Buhari had, on October 7, 2022, presented a budget proposal of 20.51 trillion naira to the parliament with a deficit of 10.78 trillion naira. The appropriations committees of both the Senate and House of Representatives said the 1.3 trillion naira increase in the budget's size was due to the additional funding earmarked for the National Population Commission ahead of the planned 2023 consensus as well as the 173 billion Nara appropriated for the Independent National Electoral Commission ahead of the 2023 general elections. The Nigerian Army, Navy, the Nigerian Police Force and Ministry of Agriculture, Health, Aviation and Science and Technology also got reasonable increases. The National Assembly also increased the oil price benchmark proposed for 
the budget for $70 per barrel to $75 per barrel. The parliament, however, retained other parameters as earlier proposed by the president, like 1.69 million barrels of oil production per day and 437,57 koboto, a US dollar 3.75% uh, GDP growth rate and 17.16% inflation rate. Against the background of an increase in the budget envelope by the National Assembly, an expert has highlighted in the implications of the action on the 2023 expenditures. According to the senior analyst of the Budget Foundation, Viola Faga, the action of the National Assembly will lead to more deficit and borrowing. The Senate and House of Representatives on Wednesday passed the 2023 appropriation bill after raising the 20.51 trillion proposed spending presented by President Mohamed Buhari by 1.32 trillion naira to 21.82 trillion naira. Kwanga was speaking on Ibran TV's business breakfast on Thursday. I mean, that comes across to, to me as very, very suspicious. Yeah. And my organization, budget, uh, the Budget Foundation, has numerous, numerous occasions, you know, cried out on the, the problems associated with this increase in the budget envelope. Uh, just to give us some kind of context, for the 2023 budget, as you know, passed by the National Assembly, uh, the monies allocated to statutory transfers have moved from 744 billion to 967.48 billion. That's the monies allocated for debt servicing have moved from 6.31 trillion to 6.55 trillion. Those allocated for recurrent expenditure have moved from 8.27 trillion to 8.32 trillion. That's right. And what was allocated to CapEx moving from 5.35, it has moved to 5.97. Now, this means that the deficit, the deficit will increase. The deficit is simply the difference between the monies expected as revenue and the monies, ex the monies that are to be spent on recurrent, on overheads, on capital expenditure. And it's important for Nigerians to understand that the difference between how much is being earned and how much is being spent will come from somewhere. Now, this means that the federal government will continue to borrow and continue to increase the size of this deficit. And you know, it's important that we also remind Nigerians that there is a subsisting legislation, the Fiscal Responsibility Act, that you know states that the federal government shall not borrow above 3.35 of the previous year's gross domestic product. Uh, Nigeria's gross domestic product was around 2.225, if I'm not mistaken, uh, trillion Naira. And with this new increase in the budget envelope, you have the that 3.35 threshold being breached. And well, from then out, the Central Bank of Nigeria has said a 2 billion naira maximum borrowing limit for rich healthcare providers seeking a loan from the 100 billion naira lifeline it approved for the health sector. The limit was contained in the operational guideline for the fund released by the APS Bank. The fund was meant to help cushion the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the economy and healthcare providers' businesses. It was also meant to ensure that the health sector meets the potential increase in demand for health care products and services. The guidelines signed by CBN Director of Financial Policy Regulation Department Kevin Amogo said working capital loans shall be considered based on 20% of the average of three years of the proposed borrower's turnover, uh, subject to a maximum of 500 million naira per obliga. The APS Bank also set the exit date for all the facilities under the scheme at December 31, 2030 and stipulated joint monitoring of financed activities by the CBN and participating financial institutions. Despite Nigeria's economic frailties, available data from the Central Bank of Nigeria has revealed that total credit to the Nigerian economy, including the federal government and the private sector rose to a whopping 15.48 trillion naira between January and November 2022. According to the APS Bank's money and credit statistics, 
credit to the private sector economy surged to unprecedented levels in November, reaching an all-time high of 64.22 trillion era. These represent an increase of 1.16% compared to 63.48 trillion era recorded in the previous month. According to the CBN, the Nigerian economy was able to recover from the economic contraction at a faster pace due to the intervention of credit into the economy, which ensured that the nation recorded growth after only two consecutive GDP declines. If you're watching business now, coming to you from our new studio here in Lagos, still to come after the break. Oil dips as China COVID spike dampens demand outlook. We will bring you more news update after these commercials. Please stay with us. <laughs> 